Aloha, I'm Kiana Kayab Yab, and you're watching Star News Live. Here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. U.S. Senator Brian Schatz said today that the Yukio Okutsu Veterans Home in Hilo will receive $600,000 in federal funding for facility upgrades and support operations. The nursing home was ravaged by the coronavirus last year in Hawaii's deadliest cluster to date. 27 residents died after COVID-19 infected 71 patients and 35 employees at the facility in August and September. Schatz said the 95-bed nursing home will receive at least $428,000 from the Federal American Rescue Plan Act and more than $172 from the latest COVID relief package. He said the state is also expected to receive federal funding to deploy strike teams to respond to virus outbreaks at long-term care facilities. The state took over management of Yukio Okutsu from Avalon Healthcare Group on January 1st. Hawaii health officials reported 136 new coronavirus infections today, bringing the state's total since the start of the pandemic to 29,927 cases. No new coronavirus-related fatalities were reported today, so the state's death toll remains at 463. Today's new infection cases include 82 on Oahu, 32 on Maui, 13 on the Big Island, 5 on Kauai, and 4 Hawaii residents diagnosed outside the state. Oahu's 7-day average daily case count today was 59. And Honolulu's 7-day average daily case count has been consistently over 50 for more than a week, which puts Oahu in danger of moving back down to the stricter Tier 2 restrictions. Honolulu City Park officials are closing Bellows Beach to overnight camping this summer to protect Hawaiian green sea turtles as they return to their nesting sites. The camping closure is scheduled from April 19th to September 2nd, but may be extended beyond Labor Day to protect the endangered turtles. The Honolulu Department of Parks and Recreation said the closure also applies to the twilight use of bathroom and shower facilities. The popular beach on military property will still be open to the public during the days on weekends, but access to identified nesting sites will be restricted. Military use of the beach for training exercises on weekdays will also continue with similar restrictions. Hawaiian green sea turtles are a federally protected endangered species. The turtles are especially vulnerable as they nest, incubate, and hatch along the Bellows shoreline. The Kauai Police Department is asking for the public's help in locating a 23-year-old man wanted on several criminal warrants. Kauai Police say Ezekiel Bagano of Wailua is wanted for failing to appear in court multiple times to face criminal property damage charges. Bagano is described as being 5 feet 6 inches tall and about 136 pounds with green eyes and black hair. Anyone with information regarding his whereabouts can call a KPD at 241-1711. Anonymous tips can also be made by calling Crime Stoppers Kauai at 246-8300 or by visiting www.crimestopperskauai.org. Finally today, the U.S. Coast Guard gave Hawaiian monk seals Mele and RK-58 a lift back to their home islands on Oahu and Kauai. The Coast Guard and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration airlifted the two young seals on a C-130 aircraft to their home islands and released them back into the ocean. Both seals had been under the care of Kekai Ola, the Hawaiian monk seal hospital run by the Marine Mammal Center in Kailua Kona. Wildlife officials rescued Mele, a female seal from Oahu in early February, and took her to Kekai Ola because she appeared malnourished. About a week later, officials rescued RK-58, a male seal on Kauai, after he suffered injuries from an apparent dog attack. After responding well to treatment, both seals passed their physicals, so Noah coordinated their release back home. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday.